Open the world where the mysteries are revealed, what you have never imagined. In the Russian Far East, a meta with low human population density, one name dominates the solo lane, Siberia Tiger, codename War God of the Jungle. The Siberian Tiger, a mammalian build you may know for its S-tier strength in the nature meta. But are you really sure you know everything? Can a playstyle optimized for solo dominance still thrive in a shifting meta? Is the Tiger truly untouchable or just outdated? Which builds out there pose a real threat to the Tiger's throne? Watch this video till the end to uncover the truth you thought you knew about the power of the Tiger. The Siberian Tiger is a large mammalian build, reaching lengths of up to 3.6 meters and weighing as much as 400 kilograms. It lives a solitary life, holding its own territory. But make no mistake, this is a professional assassin. So what kind of skill set does the Siberian Tiger possess that earns it a solid seat in the S-tier ranking? First, let's talk about its weapon of choice, a pair of long, sharp, and deadly canines. With a bite force of approximately 1,050 pounds per square inch. But it's not just brute force, it's precision. Against smaller prey, it delivers quick, clean bites. Against larger opponents, it sinks its teeth deep, targeting the windpipe or crushing the skull to ensure a kill. But even with a bite that powerful, is there a build that can make the tiger hesitate? Yes, and it's the saltwater crocodile, a tank-class predator boasting a terrifying bite force of 3,700 pounds per square inch. This build can bite through turtle shells, crush buffalo skulls, and snap bones with a single chomp. So in a head-to-head -head clash, who wins? The outcome depends entirely on terrain, build size, and one key factor, surprise. Why does surprise matter so much? Let's take a deeper dive into the next skill in the Tiger's kit, and you'll start to see exactly why. Interestingly, the Tiger build also comes equipped with a tongue covered in tiny, hook-shaped papillae, making its surface incredibly rough. With just a few licks, a Tiger can strip the flesh clean off a carcass. But what truly sets the Tiger apart is this. After securing a kill, it often drags the prey into the bushes, covers it with leaves, grass, or soil, and will come back to feed over the next one to two days. This is planned behavior, a strategy designed to keep the meal hidden from scavengers like vultures or hyenas. Still, to maintain its seat in the S-tier, sharp teeth and clever caching aren't enough. Next up in the Tiger's arsenal, its massive paws thickly furred to muffle sound and improve movement across rough terrain. In the Siberian Tiger, these paws provide a distinct advantage, effortless movement across snow without sinking, maintaining stealth in even the harshest biomes. The paws are also fitted with 10 centimeters long retractable claws, naturally curved and pressure resistant functioning like built-in switchblades. They stay razor sharp because they retract when not in use, ready to deploy at full lethality. But there's a rival build whose claws may even make the tiger pause, the brown bear. This build features claws that reach up to 15 centimeters in length, even longer than the tigers. Bears come with high endurance, devastating counterattacks, and can sustain in long engagements. If a bear survives the tiger's opening strike, the tide of battle can shift dramatically. So what gives the Siberian Tiger an edge? It's all in the legs. Long, powerful limbs allow the Tiger to hit top speeds of 60 kilometers per hour, about as fast as a mid-range motorcycle in city traffic. But even with that, the Tiger isn't the speed king of the meta. That title belongs to the Cheetah, a build that hits nearly double the Tiger's speed. Still, the Tiger dominates where it matters most. Close quarters combat. In melee, few can match its brutal precision and merciless finishing moves. High-tier weaponry alone isn't enough to make the Tiger a top-tier build on the server. To pull off its lightning-fast ambush, a missile-grade pounce capable of eliminating a target in the very first combo, the Tiger relies heavily on stealth strategy and surprise attacks. But to blend into any meta, this build comes equipped with an iconic coat. Vibrant orange fur, ranging from pale to deep hues, perfectly merging with forest light filters, dried grass, and dusty terrain. At first glance, you'd think orange would make it stand out. But in the dappled light of forest, the tiger disappears. The bold black stripes shatter its body outline, serving not only as visual flair, but also as biome-specific camouflage, allowing the tiger to vanish into the undergrowth, even when it's only a few meters from its prey. This coat is more than just stealth tech. It's a dual-layered armor system up to 10 centimeters thick, 
engineered for harsh climates. The Siberian variant features the longest and thickest fur of any big cat, four to five centimeters around the torso and up to 10 centimeters on the neck and belly. This forms a double layer insulation system capable of withstanding brutal temperatures of minus 40 to minus 50 degrees Celsius. Think of it as a natural winter jacket. It's the reason this build survives not just the snow, but the months long onslaught of wind, ice and blizzards in the Russian Far East, one of the most unforgiving metas on the planet. But here's the trade-off. This same fur is also a weakness. In warmer seasons, the thick coat and heavy fat layer can cause overheating and rapid stamina drain. When summer arrives, the tiger must retreat deep into the forest, cutting off access to hunting grounds, and with that, its energy supply chain. It gets worse. This build can't handle long combos. Its burst damage is elite tier, but it burns out after 200 meters of sprinting. If it fails to land a kill during the initial strike, or if the prey is fast and evasive, the tiger's energy reserves are spent, and the window for success closes instantly. And let's not forget one critical flaw, the solo play style. This build does not form alliances. It takes on one target at a time. Against coalition-based builds, even weaker ones, the tiger risks being kited, picked off from range, and slowly torn down. No matter how strong the solo stats are, it's always at a disadvantage when facing team-oriented strategies. Don't skip this next outrageous secret. It sounds funny, but it's 100% real. The tiger's urine contains a compound called 2-acetyl-1-pyrrolene, the same chemical responsible for the smell of buttered popcorn. Yes, you heard that right. Tiger pee smells like burnt popcorn, and this build uses that distinct scent to mark its territory. Despite sharing the same class as the domestic cat, this build absolutely loves water. While most felines hate getting wet, tigers are natural swimmers. They can cross large rivers, soak for hours in ponds to cool off, and even chase prey through the water. One Bengal tiger was even recorded swimming 30 kilometers without stopping. So, with all these advanced skills and weaponry, can the tiger overcome its weaknesses and fully capitalize on its kit? And which builds pose a real threat, even to this beast whose roar can echo up to three kilometers away? Let's start with the saltwater crocodile. As we mentioned before, this build boasts razor-sharp teeth and a bite force more than double the tiger's. So does it beat the tiger? If the fight happens in water or near a riverbank, the crocodile can win with a single mistake, just one slip of the paw or neck, and the croc drags the tiger under, death roll engaged, snapping the neck or causing the tiger to drown. But the moment the battle moves to dry land or forest terrain, the tables turn. The crocodile is sluggish with poor reaction time. Here, the tiger can approach from behind, leap onto the croc's back, and unleash its opening combo. At that point, the advantage shifts instantly. The croc becomes the hunted. Now let's look at what happens if the tiger faces off against a rhinoceros. This is arguably one of the most formidable opponents the Siberian tiger could ever encounter, with a win rate as high as 95% for the tiger. Why? Because the rhino has thick, armor-like skin, and the tiger's bite has little chance of breaking through. On top of that, the rhino's charge attack is brutally strong, enough to take any challenger out of the meta in a single hit. In this matchup, the only realistic scenario where the tiger secures victory is if it encounters a young or juvenile rhino build. Against a fully grown adult, the tiger is massively outclassed. What if a Siberian tiger goes head to head with a lion? The tiger is a solo build, specialized in ambush and burst damage. One clean bite to the neck can end the fight instantly. It plays like an assassin, Quick, lethal, no drawn out combat. The male lion is more of a tank, built for brawls used to taking hits in territorial or mating fights. It doesn't finish fast, but it's tough and experienced in one versus one. In solo combat, the tiger has a approximately 70% win rate thanks to stealth and kill pressure. But in team-based scenarios, lions have the edge due to group coordination and durability. The tiger is an incredibly powerful build, high speed, massive damage, and terrifying hunting skills. But it's not an auto win. With all the power you've seen today, do you think the tiger truly deserves its S rank status? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We want to hear from you. If you enjoyed this build, don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one we drop. Thanks for watching and good luck out there.